There's a device that I've been using called a Whoop. Hello, and welcome back to iGow2. Field reporter Dan here to introduce weekly challenge number 15, the Happy Model Speedy B Mini UTT. As you can see here, I have a little racetrack set up with six total elements, and I'll go over those now so the diagram and the path will make more sense to you. The first element is the start-finish gate. That's the blue gate here. And then we have gate number one, gate number two, Element number three here is the pole, and that is in between gate number four and gate number five. Check out the setup and pathing diagrams, as well as the sample DVR footage to help you run this week correctly. Now let's go back to Dan and Liz in the studio to break down the prizes and requirements for this week's challenge. Thanks, field reporter Dan. This is the first mini UTT of iGow2. UTT stands for Universal Time Trial and simply refers to a track designed to be set up with the same specifications in many different locations. You can check out weeks 11, 17, and 25 here, which were the mini UTT weeks from iGAO 1. Week number 15 is going to be another 50-50 week, just like weeks number 5 and 10. So half the players will be safe and half of the players will receive a letter. So there's not going to be a preset time like in season one that you have to beat to avoid a letter. The cutoff time will be determined by all of the submissions. So just put down your best time and see where you land. One of this week's feature sponsors is SpeedyBee. The SpeedyBee Adapter 2 allows you to edit Betaflight settings in the field without a computer using only your phone. SpeedyBee is providing three adapters for this week. One will go to the fastest time, one will be given away in a random giveaway, and the third we're going to give to the best edit this week. Thanks, Liddy. Happy Model is sponsoring all the 50-50 weeks in iGow2, and for this week, they are providing a set of their new 0802 19,000 KV Unibel motors as a random giveaway. We will also be giving away a Crazy BX flight controller unless Kazuzi, AKA Neil R, claims his prize before the Friday deadline for this challenge. Where are you at, Neil? We haven't been able to get in contact with you. Okay, now let's jump into the requirements for weekly challenge number 15, the Speedy Bee Happy Model Mini UTT. Requirement number zero is that your video can be no more than 90 seconds max, and you must include your pilot name in your submission. Requirement number one is that you must set up the track correctly. So you're going to need five total gates, and each of those gates uh, need a maximum inner dimension of 27 inches. And for this challenge, there's a minimum inner dimension, and that is 16 inches for all five of your gates. So you're going to want to lay out the gates according to this diagram here. And the main critical dimensions are that you have eight feet from the start-finish gate to gate number one, and there is 30 inches minimum from the center to center of both your gate pairs. Requirement number two is that you must run the track correctly and complete five laps. You can run it any line that you'd like as long as you go through each one of the gates and go around the pole in the correct direction on every lap. As you can see in the example, there are many options of how you can run this track. So experiment and figure out what is the fastest line for you. Note, you cannot go through the gates in the wrong direction as an intentional part of your line. Requirement number three is that if it is all possible for you, please turn on an OSD timer to help confirm your time. It's not required, but if it is possible, it is a huge help for everyone. Also, you're obviously not allowed to speed up your footage and you must do all five laps consecutively, so you're not allowed to just edit together your five best laps. Uh, all of those uh, things would be considered cheating, so don't do that because that would be considered an automatic whoop out. This track will be built in Tiny Whoop Go as well as Velocidrome, so you can practice there while you're charging your batteries. Make sure though that when you're running the track in real life, 
Don't just stop after five laps like you do in the sim. Keep running it as many times as your battery allows and then go back and check your footage for your best five laps. Yep, that's exactly what I like to do. And my strategy is to start off slow and smooth and get in five solid laps before I start gradually increasing my speed, trying to take tighter and faster lines each lap. So that way, when I get a really good lap, it's preceded by a bunch of other solid laps. So anyway, don't throughout the week go looking on the Reddit and trying to figure out what other pilots are doing. Just run your race and get your best time. Try to improve throughout the week and see where you end up at the end. Good luck and happy whooping. Mmm. -hmm.